But you know, the Democrats, they don't run around as liberals. They don't run for office as liberals. They have actually convinced the voters that they're better enabled to, to enact a center right agenda than we are. Well, it's because some of our elected Republicans haven't always done what they said they would do. And so we must, we must turn this around. We cannot allow the, the Democrats to continue to take that center right mantle away from us. So therefore, it's truly time for bold new leadership in our party. Okay? This year and next, we will experience the toughest two elections in our party in modern history. And you know that I know how to win tough elections. You know that I know how to, how to raise money. 1.3 million in just the last four years in my house district. You know that I'm a aggressive communicator. You know that I know how to maximize the use of technology. You know, also, that we can win. I'm optimistic about what we can do if we take advantage of the opportunities that are before us. But we have to get excited again. Don't you want to get excited again? We have to establish a state party of the year-round, non-stop campaign, statewide campaign organization. Because we have campaigns in Virginia every year. We should never shut the operation down. We have to have a solid and reliable infrastructure. We have to have a message and we have to communicate it. And you know what? We have to have people in office that do what they said they were going to do. I said I'd oppose all tax increases and I did. I voted against Chapter 32 with Bob. I voted against uh, Mark Porter, the only member of my freshman class. That are Republicans and Democrats, 12 members. I'm the only one who stood up against Mark Porter's largest in Virginia tax hike. I went to the Northern Virginia Transportation Authority as a member of the state authority, and I'm the only one who voted seven, seven times no against those taxes. <laughs> we must have a party that will reach out bring new people in. Young people. People from communities that Republicans don't typically go to. That's how I went in Eastern Prince William. You know my district. That's how I went. So we have to start winning again in, in Virginia, and we have to be aggressive about it. Let's like, quick, quick side segue. Have you heard, you know, Mark Warren became the, 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 the de facto Democratic nominee for U.S. Senate last December. Have you heard much from our party about that? <laughs> Mark Warren, the guy who runs around the state, makes all kinds of promises to the candidate, and then, when he's secretly elected, decides, oh, I'm just going to pass Virginia's off with the largest tax increase in their history. Yep. Eh, it doesn't matter. This is the guy we're running against. He's running around the state again. He's making all kinds of promises. We've got to go after him. Make no mistake, folks. Either way, we will make changes in our party. Either way. We can make, we can make the changes now, or we can still leverage what little majority we have left, because we do have some majority left, and there is some advantage of that. Or we can wait till later, when we're completely in the minority, and let the Democrats have their way. I think we should do it now. I'm confident that if we take the right steps together, if we reestablish our party as the value of traditional family values, of life, liberty, lower taxes, and you know, you all know my record, 100% with the Family Foundation, 100% with the Virginia Society for Human Life, never voted for a tax increase, aid with the NRA, and I could go on and on. My credentials are there. But I'm confident that if we do the right thing, if we take the right steps, we can start winning again. Thank you all for the opportunity to be here.